Hi everyone, Barry here from Matusu Crafts, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based here in the UK. Thank you for joining me today for another Fun Fold Friday video tutorial. For today's Fun Fold, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a, um, a gatefold accordion card or a gatefold consultina card. It was kindly recommended to us by a lovely lady who watches our channel. So that is Sandy, I think, who recommended this to us. So thank you very much. Um, it's something which is very popular at the moment, it seems to be doing around, and I figured I would show you how to make this as well. So it's a gatefold accordion card or a gatefold consultina card, which is what I'm going to be showing you how to, how to create today. So I'm going to be using the Pansy Patch stamp set and along with the Pansy dies, so these ones right here. Mainly actually it's going to be the Pansy dies which I'm going to be using, but the main focus is actually going to be the designer series paper on this one. Um, so these are the three pieces of paper which I'm going to be using, and this is from the Pansy Petals designer series paper. And these are the three designs which I'm going to be using today for this one right here. So you've got this lovely checkered kind of gingham style, a lovely pansy background and the pansies with their leaves and some bees and it's just quite cute. So that's the designer series paper pack which I'm going to be using. So like I say, I'm going to be pairing it with all three of them, but I'm mainly just going to be using it for a sentiment on this. But if you didn't want to be using the designer series paper or if you've used up your designer series paper you can then be stamping your pansies as well because what i am actually going to be doing is using this designer series piece of paper and this one right here let's just show you that and these leaves and i'm actually going to die cut these out because these dies fit the papers perfectly as well so if you don't want to do any stamping you can have the dies and the paper here and you can then die cut your own pansies with this and the leaves as well so that's why i'm not going to be stamping so much once you've used all of that you've then got your stamps which you can then create your own if you don't like the color combination on this you can create your own stamp it and die cut it out so there's lots of things but again i'm going to be using the designer series paper tonight as the main focus um, all the products you see us using um you can purchase from us they are available from us via our online shops links to our online shop can be found down below in the description as well as any other links which we may think you may find useful so check those out down below and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please remember to subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you are enjoying what you are seeing. Make sure you turn on the all notifications button as well to be notified when we go live and when we post something new. So let's crack on, sit back, relax, enjoy as we show you how to make this gatefold consultina card. Enjoy. Okay, so to make this, it's your supplies is quite simple. You're going to need three pieces of basic white cardstock, okay? And that's for three pieces of A4 basic white cardstock. And you're going to need your designer series paper. So I've got quite a lot here. Um, I will go through these later on with the measurements when I come to it. I won't confuse you with these just yet. So the first part, we're going to make the gatefold. Um, so you're going to need to take your cardstock. And we need to then cut this to seven inches along the short edge. So take off a strip. And we can use this part later on for the belly band. And then we want to take this to ten and a half inches. And we can use and we can use this for something else. So leave that to one side. Okay. And you are going to need to do that three times. Okay, so you've now got three pieces here, seven inches by ten and a half inches. Take your first one. And what we want to do is we want to score this here at two and a half inches. Along the long edge. Two and three quarters of an inch seven and three quarters and eight. So this is a larger card as well. We're doing like a five by seven card, so it's different from our standard ones. So that's what we're gonna do. So you've got your channels right here. Okay, pop that to one side. 
Then what you want to do is you want to take your other two pieces, okay? And you want to score this here at two and a half inches along the long edge. Five inches. Seven and a half inches. And 10 inches. and do that on both pieces. Okay, so once you've done those pieces, you want to grab yourself a pencil and a ruler here, and we want to now mark on these ones, which we've got the, all, of the, all of the score lines on here, and we want to mark on this, on the left-hand side, so you've got the small part, you've got the thin scored bit over on the, on the right here. So on the left-hand side, we want to then mark this at two inches up here, okay? So we're just gonna grab our ruler. I'm gonna take it to two inches. So just bear with me, I need a new ruler, so I'm gonna start off at one and then take it here to three, but it's just to mark it at two inches and do that on both pieces, okay? So we've come up two inches here from the bottom. So this is gonna be the top side and this is the bottom, so two inches up from the bottom here on the left-hand side. Then what we want to do is we then want to cut from this mark to this score line corner right here. So really simple, all we do is we just pop that in the trimmer again. We line up that pencil mark here with the score line mark down here. Okay, so I've lined the pencil mark up here in that track, and I've lined the corner, so not the end, not the corner of the actual card, it's where the score line meets here on the track as well, and then cut between those two. Okay, and then you want to do that on the other one as well, so you want to do that twice. So we've got our two pieces. Then what we want to do is we then want to just position these for a moment. So one's going to go this way here and then one is going to go this way. And then we then want to then grab our pencil line again. And then on a second score line in and the second score line in here, put a, a mark roughly halfway. And then on one of them, you want to cut up the line. So you want to cut from that one up and then on this one over here you want to cut down to it so you want to go up and you want to go down and you kind of want to make a little bit of a channel as well so i'm just going to work over here so i'm just going to go down the score line and roughly to halfway and then on this one here we will then go down the score line to that halfway mark. So I was just eyeballed it. If we need to do more, we can we can tweak it if necessary. And then basically these are going to lock in. So to test it, whether or not it's okay, you can go in. It doesn't matter if it's too much, but as long as it's not too short, as long as we can go either or, and we've got that, we can then level it off on the bottom. So that's good. So just make sure you keep these in this area. What we're going to do now is we are going to fold and burnish these pieces right here. Okay, so on this one I will fold and we're going to, again, consultina. Fold that way, fold back, fold back and fold over. So you kind of like got that consultina going on and then just fold and just tidy up those. All those lines. Okay, so that's the one which is going to go on the left hand sides. And then do the same on the right hand side. So fold this one back. And then we then want to then fold over, fold over and then fold back like that and then we can then just tidy those up so that's how that's gonna look like this okay um so let's just go through that again so you want to do your like a mountain so it's, it's looking like that so the one on the left hand side mountain 
valley, mountain, valley. And then you have mountain, valley, mountain, valley. And that's those ones right there. And then when they lock in together, all we do is we just take one on the other and then just lock those in. make sure everything goes in the right direction just that last one because you want that last one to fold in on itself so if it's going that way like it was with me don't worry just fold it back on itself so you then get that style okay and um, what we can do is we will just fold and burnish the gatefold here. So we've got these and we've got ourselves a little channel so we can just fold and burnish these ones. Because then that then fits on the inside. Like so, like that. And creates a nice little card, okay? So it's really down to the decoration on this one right here. So this is where you're designing the series paper. So I've used quite a lot of paper here. Um, you will need a couple of sheets of 12 by 12 or at least one sheet. So or depending on if you want to use the same pattern, just reverse it, which is what I have on some of this. But this is one pattern. So this is going to be for the front. Then I'm going to then pop this one right here. And then I'm going to have one on the back here, like so. You'll need six pieces measuring two and three quarters by six and three quarters. So it's two and three quarters by six and three quarters and you will need six of those. If you do that from your designer series paper, which is 12 by 12, then your off cuts, which you have down here, will then be the, that will then be enough for doing the rest of this, and we will just snip it down. So start off with your two and a quarter by six and three quarter, and then use the off cuts for decorating the rest of it, which is what these are right here. So yes, yeah, so I've got two of this pattern, two of this pattern right here. And then these ones are, this. the pattern is the reverse. So that one and then the reverse side of it is over here. So I'm using both pieces and really getting the best out of our designer series paper. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna go, first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stick the panels to the inside and the panels to the front. Okay, so that there is my cover and my gatefold then actually decorated. So Got the two for the front here. Just make sure you check your orientation and make sure if you've got something which is connecting that they flow inside and then inside here. So this one right here, I w another thing you would want to do is you can just trim off these triangles at the top here. So we can then just take these down just to tidy that up. Good, so at least then they're not seen. And that's gonna go in like that. So we now need to, I'm gonna, it might be easy to decorate this before we stick it together. So if we just pop it into place like this to start off with, and then I will now gonna go P for pansy here, because then that will be that pattern. Then I want this one here, I'm gonna go Y for yellow, P for pansy, Y for yellow. And then do the same on this side over here. Then that way, once if I take these off, if I just make sure I keep this P and then I just do R and L to make sure I know they are left and the right. I can then take this out and then I can then stick the designer series paper to this comfortably without having to worry about manipulating it. So that was a pansy. 
and then we've got a yellow down here so that's that so we need to just go ahead and cut this so the best thing to do is line it up position it so that you've got yourself your nice border all the way around line it up over here and then just pop a pencil line down here and then we're going to cut from that pencil line up to the corner up here so you can either do this on your trimmer so pencil line to corner or you can grab yourself some snips and you'll want to do that on every single piece so we'll do that one there So, you know, so we know that was pansy right. And then, then that can again get stuck in. And then when we come to do these ones down here, do exactly the same thing, position it in place. Or we can do this. Yeah, we'll do it that way there. So we will have to pop two pencil lines on this one. So I'm gonna pop a pencil line there and a pencil line here. So it roughly gives me the same white edge as I've got all the way around. And then I will then cut between. So that's how you're going to cut those pieces. Once you've got the angle, cut that down. And then you can then comfortably go ahead and pop, stick the pansy one to that one. And then you can then stick the yellow one to that one. Once you've done that, you would then just turn that over and then do exactly the same over here with your other pieces. So we know we're going to have pansy and yellow is going to be there and then all of these pieces will be then for the opposite side so you can go ahead and you can then stick all of that down one of them may be a little bit too short but that's going to be down at the bottom down here so just try and focus that on the top um because that's going to get hidden up and this isn't, isn't going to show on the card anyway so if you do have one which is a little bit too short don't worry about it too much so go ahead and do that for both pieces so your left and your right pieces I'm going to um, do that fast forward and then we will then crack on with the construction side of things. So there we have it. We've got those parts now decorated both both sides. If there is any pencil lines around, just grab yourself a rubber now and then just rub these out. So when you go to construct it, the easiest way is that you've got these. If you pop them out now, which is now the opposites to each other, fold them over so you have it like that and then that one. And then fold that one in on itself and like that so you've got two pieces which look like this and then you then just slot those in with each other and then it's correct there okay so just fiddle with that until you've got that correct but then that's how that looks and that looks stunning already as it is so all we need to do with this one is then to stick this to the inside of the card, which is what those flaps are for on the back here. So we will start off with doing some glue on these panels and do one at a time. And then we were then Pop that down, centralize that in this actual gatefold. 
and then just hold that down just let that set up for a second or two and then we can then move on to sticking the next part down which is this one so we can then pop some glue on the back of this And then just bring that over, just manipulate it, just position so it looks nice and straight on every corner. And then just push that down just to set itself up. And that there is pretty much your consultina gatefold card like that. We do need to make a few adjustments now just to make sure this looks lovely. So that's that, and it's gonna constantine around. So you can leave these parts blank right here, or you can do a tip and, and you can connect these. So I got this idea from C, um, Sam Calcott from Mixed Up Crafts, um, and what we would need is we would need one piece measuring um, one by three inches. So you can just use your off cuts, which you have got here. So which is, which we had from, it's, it's actually one and a quarter. So if we want to, we can trim this down to three inches by one. And this part here, we can manipulate, so we can just pop some glue on all of this. Like so. Position that roughly in the center, and then stick down and stick down to hold these two pieces together. Once that's set up, we can then manipulate it so it folds again. Okay, so that's those. And then we can then fold it. It just so it keeps it. So we, we just basically put the join in. But we're going to be popping a topper on this anyway. So if you've got any gaps or if it looks a little bit messy, we're going to be covering that up anyway. But it's just a nice way of actually making the whole card stick together. I really like that idea. So yeah, Sam Calcott is the idea I got this from. We need a piece measuring three inches by three quarters of an inch. So which is that. And what we want to do is we want to score this at half an inch, one inch, two and two and a half. So half. One, just turn that around. Two and two and a half. Okay, and we need to fold back, fold back, fold back, fold back. And what we're going to do on this one here, it doesn't matter if it's untidy again because it's going to get covered up, it's just going to act as a little bit of a, a bridge for us. So that's kind of how it's looking. And we're going to pop glue on the back of these pieces right here. And then we will then just stick that to that one there and centralize that in the middle. And that is gonna act as a part for our topper. Good, so I'm gonna let all of that set up for a moment whilst I then move on to the topper for the sentiments. So pop that to one side. I've already gone ahead and I've gone and die cut my pieces right here. So you again, using that lovely designer series paper right here, it actually fits all of the dies. So you can go ahead and you can cut out some of your pansies 
and your petals but obviously if you haven't got enough designer series paper then you can go ahead and you can stamp it's entirely up to you but what i want to do is i want to stamp my sentiments we're going to make this into a birthday card so i'm going to stamp happy birthday down in the bottom kind of the bottom left here like that and that's all the stamping i'm doing for this particular card tonight but again remember you can as i just said do this and then we will then kind of layer some of these pandy pansies around this right here and make a little bit of a nice floral topper like that so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to stick those down like this and then i will then stick that to the card Okay, so that's what that topper looks like right there. And then what we can do is we can then go ahead and stick some glue. Let's just make sure this manipulates first. So obviously, yeah, that does, that comes up. We can then go ahead and we can then stick some glue to this. And then we can then stick that centrally onto that, that topper holder. Just hold that in place, just let that set up. So you can go ahead and you can decorate this however you like. You can be more extravagant, you can have bits coming out, you can do all sorts on this. Well, I think the designer series paper on this one just look, does the job for you. And that's that. So then when that goat opens up, that just pops out and is flat like that. Okay, so good. What we want to do now is that's going to close up. We want to do the belly band. So again, grab one of the pieces from your A4 piece, which you cut off uh, from earlier on. I'm just going to trim this down to one inch in thickness, in, in width. And that's going to be our belly band. So that will then go around this, like so. And all you want to do is you just want to, you just want to finger this round and then get the crease and then we can then manipulate it afterwards. And that's going to go like that. Don't make it too tight. And then once we've got that there, we can then pop a little bit of glue underneath this part right here, just to hold those in place. So that's that, okay. Then what I've got is I'm gonna be using the other pieces right here. So I've already gone ahead and I've gone and pre-cut some of the pansies and I have got this and so I've got my larger one. So I'm just gonna make a bit of an arrangement around here like this with these. And with the petals and then just make a nice little flower arrangement so i'm going to go ahead and stick that down now so here we have our topper and then to finish up we will then just stick this some glue on here and then just stick that on like that if you want to you can do some coloring you could do this on a different color cardstock if you wanted to I quite like it as it is like that I might actually grab a blend in a second and just put some detail on this so what I'm doing is I've just grabbed myself a blend, I've just grabbed myself a purple here, I've got Blackberry Bliss, and I'm just going to either just next, so I'm just gonna just do that and just do some flicking on those bits just to make that pop out a little bit. 
don't know, it just adds a little bit of interest to that, that panel there. And that's it, so that one goes back on top. You have got your card, which then opens up like that, and then stands up and displays like so. Decorate it as you wish. Lots of infrafloor and embellishments on this. You can do all sorts. Um, but I've left this quite plain for you. Just wanted to show you how to make this card. But that is using the Pansy Patch stamp set and the Pansy dies. So that one right there. And the and I've used a stitch so sweetly dies for my sentiment layers, which is these ones right here, and they're really becoming a firm favourite of ours right now. So that's what I've done, and with the pansy dies, which we have got right there, and you can do you can, be, you can make some beautiful cards with this. You can really layer this up. So that is it. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Okay. Um, if you would like to purchase anything, please find, find our online shop links down below in the descriptions. Obviously, we would love to, for you to be our, or we would love to be your preferred demonstrator, should I say. Um, if you do decide to shop with us, please remember to use the current host code as well, which can be found on our website over at matusucrafts.com. Um, if you use that code, then it'll be, it just allows us to be able to then um, claim some reward, and then we can then send out some little, a little extra something to you, like it could be in the form of packet of gems. Could be just a little sampler of some designer series paper it could be whatever we can um afford to to buy with the rewards we can then pass it back on to you so links to our online shop can be found down below in the description if you would like them yes so please have a go um i hope you enjoyed that like i said um it's a really fun card to make obviously it's um it's, it's a bit of time but it's quite fun to use and you definitely do use your designer series paper so it's a win-win all round i think for this particular card so there we have it, gatefold consultina card, which then pops up, and your sentiment. Good. Lovely. Thank you all for watching. Um, we will be back with you again on Sunday for our live, if you'd like to catch us live. Um, if not, we'll be back with you again next Friday for another Fun Fog Friday. Thank you all for watching. Take care for now. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.